Howdy mates. Good noon time. It's that time of the day. It is Wednesday, November 29th, 2023. And it's it, hard to believe that it's already approaching towards December. My goodness. I, I tell you what, this year has been going by pretty quickly, to say the least. So I'm over down in uh, Burlington, Iowa, which is not is just off from the Mississippi River. It's a bit in the uh, south east portion, and Burlington is also the town of where a famous writer, Aldo Leopold, a Sand County Almanac. He was born in Burlington in the late 1800s. But in particular, this is a Star's Cave Preserve. And this is just a uh, tributary that will eventually meet up with the Mississippi River. But part of the reason that I am up here is from the fact that you can see some of Iowa's geology. Now, what we are really seeing predominantly is calcium carbonate, which is also known as limestone. And apparently, through here, in the bedrock, you can find a lot of what you call crinoids. And they are, in particular, an animal that was existent at least 300 million years ago. It seems like they peaked the most during the Mississippian period. But they are, they do share the nickname of sea lilies. But the thing is, even though they have that nickname, they are not plants. They are still animals. Now... In terms of how they were classified, they were echinoderms, which, if you translate that towards the English language, it basically means spiny skin. And another great example of an echinoderm are sea stars, or even brittle stars. And so, they share that same relation with sea stars. So, even though Iowa is situated in Midwestern country, away from the oceans, you can still find evidence that this land once was submersed in the ocean. This is further evidence of that because calcium carbonate only forms in marine waters. It, it will not form in freshwater. And so, a little bit, I've um, just been looking around and no luck as of yet. Going through something like this takes a bit of patience and most times at a park it's not really encouraged to uh, collect it's just so you know but it is finally warming up a little bit but the point though that I am making is as to why we should care is the fact that these rocks really tell us about Earth's history before mankind came into existence. That there were indeed other forms of life that have existed much longer than we have. As a matter of fact, there are still crinoid species that are alive. They actually... Uh, 
And as part of their skeleton, they form something called ossicules. I think that's how you pronounce it. They look like these little rings. Kind of similar to what our spine would look like. And it's made out of that material, calcium carbonate. And that is essentially why they were able to be present as fossils in this very rock that we speak of. So, I digress. Have a great Wednesday. I hope all of you had a great Thanksgiving last week. I kind of forgot to mention that. And uh, see you soon. All right. Journey on a journey is onwards. Take care.